tricks for a rookie. Oh. What is keeping Leo up? He is getting tattooed here, and he has to go. Power, got to like the accuracy, got to like the spite as well. A little bit of edge about him in there. Would you? You need that. Yep, and the fact that he was never in any hurry. He knew if I don't get him out this time. With a left hand to the body. Oh, oh nailed him! Oh, that right hand. <laughs> One more punch will get him out of there, and I think Howard Foster is getting ready to step in here because nobody wants to see Butlin get hurt. Body shots coming in. He's all over the place here, and that's it. The towel comes in. Howard Foster's there. Stuff. I mean, okay, you're dealing with a fighter's pride, he wants to put up a show, but uh, the, the night had caved in on. He's not going to go overboard, as you say, he's not going to go out and win a world title tomorrow. We're not looking at another Lomachenko here or anything like that, but everything that you're asking him to do, everything you're hoping to see from him, you're seeing. Yep, he's in no hurry. <laughs> Just lunges in, you've got to credit his bravery, but he's getting a pounding in there, and that's that. No, it's been stopped. The same was coming, but yeah, it was it was ruthless. So efficient. There's that knockdown once again. Three. To wind up the punches. So it was just this you know, turning out to be a real painful night for Kischek, which was only going to become more and more painful. So glad it didn't go on. He's just so heavy-handed, Joshua. He doesn't oh, have to oh, have a terrific right, right, right hand. Again, Darts did well to take that. Darts is struggling. He's in trouble, and there is an argument that's to enough. say that's enough, and it is. The starch wasn't going to go easy. The right time to get him out of there. And it was pretty obvious. Now that was it. You could see him all over the place. I mean, it wasn't just that punch. And he's gone. And I don't think he wants any part of this. He's holding his ear as if the ear's gone. But now, no. He's moved it away and he's not getting up. He has scrambled. He says, no, there's a little bit of damage there. Yeah. That was a good shot. Well, he was critical of himself last time. Anthony Joshua, surely. High guard up there as Joshua died. Oh, oh, that right hand up the cut. Bang. The middle of the combination. Kind of got, he got my leg to bend down the way he did right there with the overhand shot first and then set him off for the uppercut. Joshua looked to land the right hand, but he's taking his time and measuring it up. And that right hand did the damage. He just waited. That was a kind of glancing blow, that seemed to come off the shoulder and then the, the shorter right hand to follow up was a shorter jolting right hand. Inside two rounds for Joshua, takes his time, measures him up again, skulls all over the place, Steve Grace. Smile from the Watford man. Oh, oh yeah. that's the one. Didn't miss that time, took everything, didn't he? One big right hand. See, he was on the way to the floor. So, I mean, at this stage it doesn't matter greatly, but uh, you have to really be careful of that. So down he goes and well, he did well to take that. He's still be in there. Full credit to him. And that gets another one. That's how it's coming. And he got absolutely slaughtered with a left hand. And as you say, no one's gonna no one's gonna argue with this stoppage. I Richard done what he could do. A special talent in the heavyweight division. And well backed off, was thinking about what he wanted to do, and that was a beautiful trying to tag him back. But again, just too sharp and too powerful from Joshua, who's slicing into ribbons here. And Ian John Lewis might have a job to do because backed off is so brave, he's standing up to this, but he is getting pounded, and Ian John Lewis did absolutely the right thing. Well, I thought he was stopping it. He should and he will, it. and he has. Past his best now, right now comes through, and he's wobbled, he's shaken by that, and Joshua straight on him and sprouts in big trouble here. Joshua just teeing off, is that and Tyrone Connor right? says that will do it right there. Seven, six. For Michael Sprott to take, bang, that's the one, that's the job finished. Job's finished. And this time, didn't miss that time. One, two. And down he goes one, again, left hand again. Two. But this is this is getting ugly here, and it's waved off. It's done. We saw that in his last fight, I think, Jim. That, that and you know he was asked about it afterwards, and he more or less just swatted it away. Of the fighter he once was, and a right hand lays him out beautifully. Counts it eight. This is done and dusted. It is his sixth second round win. Nothing wrong with keeping him busy, though. No, definitely not. I mean, you know, you've got Joshua going to work once again. 
Murray's got rid of it, but can Johnson survive? Joshua looking to just blitz him out of there. Inside a round, there goes the bell, and Johnson is finished. Punches is taken there. Well, that reputation for durability is well, well deserved, but how much longer can this go on? And it's stopped, it's over, done, inside two rounds. Kingpin just got bowled over. Anthony Joshua right now. Yep, I agree with that, Nick. Yep, I mean, we don't want to see him overstretched. But uh, we certainly do want to see him in a, a, a match that is at least... Joshua with a straight right hand. Ah. Joshua looking very sharp. Here he nails it with a right hand. Little bit, he felt that one. And then, bang, over came the right hand. Joshua looking to measure him up. Could this be gone in the first? He's caught him with another right hand. And Cornish is in desperate trouble already. I was knocking him onto his heels. I mean, look at the power and, and the jab there. Trying just to, to survive the crisis. But down the end, that was from the accumulation of the punches. When he got back up, his legs were unsteady. And there was no point allowing it to continue. The, the writing was on the wall for that. I give, I give way to the, obviously the round where he oh, oh, got it. Terrific. Finally got him. Is this the breakthrough? Joshua looking to size him up. Gets another right hand through. Now, and as long as White returns fire once in a while, which he is doing, Foster but look at the legs. There's a grin from White, but the legs are betraying him, and down he goes. He's hurt. The way surely, he went down. surely no way up here for Dylan White. It's stopped. It's over. Yeah, they caught him in the temple as well, and quite often that's the punch. The toughest guys you've ever seen get caught in the air quickly. But the, the side of the head there, no, it just scrambles your brains and you don't recover from it and you never got the chance to recover from it. Yep. Full credit the way he coped with it, he grabbed hold, he ducked, he dived, then when the time was right he tried to throw back. But by that point, in an exhausting fight, I think it had been knocked out of him. And there's the finisher, terrific uppercut. You knew there was no way back from that. Yeah, you could tell because he's the type of fighter that gets his rhythm and then can be dangerous later on in the rounds. Started picking him off and then just got to keep your head moving off the line so when he throws you can slip and counter. So he, he just kept on walking into a backhand as the rounds went on. Um, he was good though, he was fit because as he got knocked down he was in good condition. Stays, but rocks the head Maybe he feels safer at this range, but Joshua, like the Predator, is going hunting, and he's going hunting now. Right hand, Flutens, Eric Molina, who is... Great work there from Joshua, that right hand found its way home, and we saw the effects of Molina does not want to be in here now. The fight's over. Stopped in the third round, Anthony Joshua defending his IBF heavyweight title in emphatic fashion.